Hello, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to build an AI proofreading assistant with Axiom.ai, a no-code browser automation tool, and ChatGPT. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. First up, a little bit of context on how this AI assistant works. What it does is read a series of links from a Google Sheet, and this could be these links can be from any website. I'm just using BBC as an example. It will then scrape the body of content from those pages, pass it to ChatGPT, check for errors, and then write the recommendations back into your Google Sheet so you can make the changes as and when you want in your CMS or in your HTML files. Let's get started. We'll need a Google Sheet. I've got one that I've already made here. I've got two tabs in it, one for links and one to write the data that we get back from ChatGPT into. You can see on screen that I've got some example links in there ready to test as I set my bot up. Next, let's install the template. Now, if you found this video on YouTube and you haven't been to the Axiom.ai site yet, just visit the site, look at the top menu and click on templates. You'll find this and the other templates there and then you can just click the button and install the template. But if you don't have an Axiom account, don't worry. There'll also be a button there to help you click, get set up with a new account, and you get 60 minutes of free runtime that allow you to test out this and other Axiom templates. Next, let's configure our AI assistant into seven easy steps. Okay, what I'm gonna do is tab into my Google Sheet and I can open Axiom up on this tab. Why am I doing that? Because it makes it easier to set up our first step. Now, the first step we need to configure is our step number one and read data from Google Sheets. I've clicked, I've expanded that step. Now, spreadsheet, what I need to do is select the sheet that I've created for this automation. And I called it proofread, there it is in my list. Now, I also want to, because I've specified uh, the first tab for links, I want to select that tab. And down in the output, you'll see there's now a preview of those links that I'm going to scrape and then check for um, errors. Next up, we want to configure step number 2.1. And this is inside our loop. So basically what the step two does, it loops through the URLs that we have in the Google Sheet. So all the steps inside that loop step will be looped and run for each URL. So as Axiom goes down the rows in the Google Sheet. So I'm going to expand step 2.1 and now configure that. What I want to do is pass the URLs from the sheet into the enter URL field here that is flagged as required. So how do I do that? Simple enough, I click insert data and I select the Google Sheet token. We can see in the preview here, in column A, we've got the URLs. I just press save and close. And that's the um, token now inserted into the enter URL field. And that token contains those links. And it's also, you'll notice, set up the loop in step two. And you can see it's going to loop through the rows in the Google Sheet. Awesome. So I'm going to collapse that step and go on to the next. Next is step 2.2, get data from the bot's current page. So what we need to do here is just quickly save the axiom. I want to go on to one of the example links that I wish to scrape the data from to check for mistakes. And I want to make my selection here and select an outer div that wraps around basically all the content I want to check. So let's set up step 2.2. I'm going to click and expand that step and it's a get data step. So this is a scraping step. And the first thing I need to do is set up the select. What I need to do, as I mentioned, I want to select a div and you can see we've got the orange lines border box here. And I don't want to select just a small um, paragraph. I want to get all the text to check it. So I just move my mouse around. And we can see there that that's a wrapper. It's highlighted all the text in the article. I don't want to check all these other links because I'm just checking the article here. Now I've made that selection. I'm just going to move myself up to the top of the screen here. We can see the preview of the selection in column A. 
And we're already set to select text, so we don't need to change that. And that's all I need to do to set up the select. I'm now going to press complete. Now, there are a couple of other configuration settings you can do here. I've already set them to um, configure scraper just to speed it up to do um, one retry and that speed it up a little. Make sure you're on max results set to one and we don't need a pager. So that's step 2.2 now set up. So I'm going to collapse that step. I'll just move myself back down here. The next step we need to set up is 2.3. This is the step that passes the scrape data off to ChatGPT to check for typos. Now I'm going to click and expand this step. You will see I've already got my API key in the step. Now, of course, be careful sharing your API keys. I will um, delete this API key after I have um, finished this video. So what I need to do is it's already in there, so I don't need to do anything there, but you would need to cut and paste and put your API key in there. What I need to do now is set up the prompt. So I'm just remembering the instructions I've set up here. I've put some example text that I found quite useful for the prompt. I'm just going to cut and paste this, check the text for spelling mistakes, return in a bullet that's compatible with a spreadsheet cell. So that formatted the data really nicely. And then I'm just going to go back to the here. I'm going to insert that text. Now that helps guide the prompt but I need it to check the data or the data we scraped rather. And so I need to insert a token and pass that data from step 2.2 into 2.3 for ChatGPT to check. So again, I click insert data, the same as I did on the go to page, but this time I select the scrape data. And we can see a preview of the text that I've scraped and want to check for any glaring errors. So that's the ChatGPT step set up. Just to go over it a little bit here, inside the prompt I've used a combination of text and token together, so to construct the prompt. Okay, so that step set up. I'm going to use ChatGPT4. I just prefer that model. Now we need to set up the append data step 2.4. We need to basically what we're doing here is I want to append the URL with the data that ChatGPT returns. So when it's written to the sheet, we get the URL of the page that was checked and the results of the check together. So I'm going to append the row from the Google Sheet and press Save. And then I'm going to append, append the um, ChatGPT output to the URL. And that's that step set up. You won't see a preview of the output because none has been generated yet. So I'm going to leave as horizontal because I want the columns side by side. I don't want them stacked vertically. I'm going to collapse step 2.4. And now we've just got two steps left to configure. These are pretty simple. They're just uh, write data to Google Sheets. So this basically writes the data that we've scraped, then put through ChatGBT, appended, and then now we're going to write it to the Google Sheet. So we want to find our proofreading sheet. This time I want to select in sheet name the data, where we want to write the data to. So I'm going to select the Changes tab. We do need to pass now inside data in the select list here. We need to now tell it what data to write. So we're going to write the chat GPT. No, I'm wrong there. We're going to write the appended data. Press Save. And we're going to make sure Add to Existing Data is selected. So that's the step 2.5 setup, write data to a Google Sheet. Now I'm going to collapse that step because it's done and go to our final step to set up before we get to the fun part where we can unwatch the bot in action. Okay, 2.6, delete rows from a Google Sheet. This step basically deletes the row that has been processed. So when the bot loops, it loops through a new row and not the old row. So again, I'm going to select a spreadsheet and spreadsheet URL. Again, it's proofread. Now, to sheet name, what I want to do is select the sheet tab, or rather where the links are. Pretty obvious, I called it links. And that's it, that's the step set up, and that is the bot set up. Now for the fun part, watching my AI assistant do my work for me. I never get tired of this, it's pretty cool, so I'm just gonna click run now. I want to test 
test it on um, my desktop so I can watch it running and observe to make sure there's no issues. So I'm going to click run. Now, this is the AI Assistant, or this is Axiom opening up the website, the first link in our Google Sheet, and it's going to scrape that data. You can see it's been highlighted orange. That means the scraper has now taken that data and has passed it to ChatGBT. There'll be a lull or the AI will seem like it's not active, but basically it's over talking to ChatGBT and it's passed the text to ChatGBT, which is analyzing it for any errors. It's then going to send that message back, which we then write to Google Sheet, which should happen any moment now. There's always a bit of pause depending on. Let's just open up the tab where we expect the data to be written to. And there we go, the data has arrived. And you can see, as I talked about earlier, we've got the URL of the page it's scraped, and then broken down into bullet points, we've got the suggestions that ChatGBT has made to correct on the page. So that's pretty damn cool. So you can basically fine tune your um, prompt so you can change the type of errors you're looking for, whether it's you just want to check for spelling mistakes or grammar, and that's sort of the depth that you want for suggestions back from ChatGPT. So in the meantime, the bot is continuing to run and is looping through the next page. That's pretty awesome. You can apply this AI system to any website. So if you're an owner of a website with thousands of pages, you can just set this automation loose. It'll check for typos ensuring that you've got the perfect site. Worth noting, you can customize this and any other Axiom template to your requirements simply by using the step finder and adding the steps that you will require to build out the functionality. Before I wrap it up, I just want to say there are some tips on the template page itself found at axiom.ai templates if you get stuck configuring this um, AI assistant. And finally, we do offer great customer support. Go to axiom.ai, click on the support link in the top menu, share with us your Axiom template and just describe and give us some information on the issue you're having and we'll get back to you with a solution.